Hey there again, Ranger Scholars. I'm just checking you back in. So today, Thursday, um, we filled out this whole entire thing yesterday on Wednesday up to step three. Quick review, even though I just did. Um, we talked about our claim that we suggested that we serve pepperoni pizza at the upcoming welcome dinner for our town's International Sports Day dinner. We then looked at the infographic that was provided and in the numbers section, we found some startling information. 350 slices of pizza are eaten per second. What? 70,000 pizzerias are in business across the nation. 40% of Americans eat pizza once a week. That's some pretty good information that we can use to back up our claim that we should serve pizza at this dinner for our international sports celebration. Another thing that we were asked to look up was um, affordability. Average cost per pie is $13.20. That feeds at least four people. You do the math, people. That's pretty good. Now, the last thing was kind of rubbish. I think it asked us about top things around the world that didn't have anything to do with what they asked us to do in this claim. So I said rubbish, and I think that was a trick. This was not going to help me sell the idea to my town's International Sports Day dinner, people, because we're not international. Hello. Like, so you, like, why would you even write that down? Nobody cares. What a silly question that was to ask, am I right? So I guess I know that I'm going to have to use for my three body paragraphs about how pizza's healthy, about the numbers, all this data, and that how it's affordable for my three-body paragraphs. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that I want to have pepperoni pizza because, you know, it's rated 60% of the popular toppings in the nation. So now we're to step four. So we have to write a beginning, middle, and end. So today, what you need to do on this assignment is use your data that you have gathered from the infographic, not from your head, not from what you think, not because you know. You guys all always say, like, oh, I just know it. Like, no, use the information provided. What are you talking about? Use this little pizza thing. Come on. All right. <clears throat> so in the beginning, your first sentence should be a hook. Hook your reader. That is, it should grab your audience's attention. Immediately interest them in your essay. Your hook can be surprising fact, a compelling and using antidote, that's a story, anything that will immediately engage your readers. Now, so you might have to research that for a moment to do that, but as you know, we always do it. First paragraph, hook the readers. After you hook, the last sentence of the first paragraph has to be that claim, your thesis statement. Okay, I'm just telling you, everybody should be this right here. Your last sentence of your first paragraph. I suggest that we serve pepperoni pizza at the upcoming welcome dinner for our town's international sports day dinner. So I gave you that. Then you do a double space space and go to the next paragraph. All right, middle. You have to explain, explain to your readers why pizza would be a success at the welcome dinner using the information you wrote in step two. Then explain to your readers what kind of pizza you would serve at the dinner and why using the information from step three. So what I do, I would suggest the information you wrote in numbers, the information they gave you in healthy, and the information in affordable you use. And then the next step, this sentence right here, what kind of pizza? Clearly pepperoni. I mean, come on, are you for real? We already know it's the top five toppings and it's 60% ordered by people in the popular America who, you know, order pizza. Like you have to be silly not to do that. Then you're gonna space space down to the end. You're gonna conclude your paragraph with a strong sentence that will give your readers something to think about. Like, say, come on, you guys. Don't you want everyone to come to our, you know, little dinner and be happy because, you know, everybody likes pizza. I just proved it to you. Come on. 
leave them with some final thought to really say, hey, for our town's International Sports Day dinner, we should serve pizza. Let's do it. So that's what you need to do today. You're writing those three paragraphs in this lesson down below. Have fun and make sure to follow the writing tips on the paper provided.